Hello, so I got a chance to go see uh, Wicked, so this is going to be my review video for it. Um, I'll tell you when I'm going to talk about spoilers, so uh, the first half of this will be spoiler free, and then I'll just go into a few parts of the movie that I pretty much want to talk spoilers on. If you saw the movie, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? And begin! So a little while ago, I went to go see uh, Wicked, and this is going to be my honest general thoughts on it. Um, I've all, I've never actually really shied away from musicals, if uh, you didn't know that. Like, I've always kept an open mind when it came to that stuff. I'm a big fan of Sweeney Todd. I like Les Miserables. I like um, Phantom of the Opera. I, I kind of always gravitate more towards, like, gothic horror musicals, but... Um, a few that I've never really gotten into was, uh, Cats, I never got into that, um, I knew a few songs from Wicked, but that wasn't one of the ones that I actually got into at first, and then when I heard that they were making a, a Wicked, uh, musical, like, movie adaptation, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll see it when it comes out, just out of curiosity, I like The Wizard of Oz, and, um, if it's done right, I like a story of, oh, yeah, like, maybe, uh, they weren't the villain, like, I do like when they, uh, spin it that way, I think that one of the lines in the movie actually is really good, which was, uh, I believe it was by Galinda that was said, are people born wicked, or do they just have evil thrust upon them, or wickedness thrust upon them? I was like, that's actually a really good line, and I really did like that line. But, um, overall, I, I actually loved this movie. I thought it was so good. I went in with very mild expectations, and I walked out being like, that was actually really, really good. And the fact, uh, like, they, they did her so dirty in the story. Like, uh, Cynthia Aruvo, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, did an amazing job as, uh, Elfie and, um, Ariana Grande did do a good job as, uh, Glinda as well, and I gotta admit, I really did like Jeff Goldblum as the wizard, too, I thought he did really well, and I always thought the wizard was a little, like, a little shady to be with, even in the Wizard of Oz, because he never really, like, fulfilled any of their wishes, so always kind of had that vibe that he was a con man, and then you also have Oz the Great and Powerful that went more into that as well, but, um, the music in this, besides one or two songs, I thought was absolutely fantastic. Um, there were parts of uh, Nobody Mourns the Wicked that I really liked, but overall, as a song, I wasn't a big fan of it. But um, I, I, I know it's kind of like just the normal one, uh, gonna fall right in line. But one of my personal favorite songs from this was probably Defying Gravity. But after Defying Gravity, I would probably have to say um, the one that I keep going back to the most is um, I would probably say was uh, The Wizard and I. I just think that's such a good it's such a good song, and I don't see a lot of people talking about it, and I think it's just so, so good. But, um, I, I know I got sidetracked, but if you haven't seen Wicked, uh, or know the plot of it at all, it's pretty much The Wizard of Oz is, uh, gonna be the second movie, because if you don't know, this is actually a two-part musical, uh, movie, pretty much Act 1 and Act 2, but it was just like, um, what if the Wicked of the, uh, Wicked Witch of the West actually wasn't the villain? Like, what if uh, every action that went into place turned her into the villain that we met within the Wizard of Oz movie? And I know it kind of been done to death with a lot of other movies, but this one I feel like actually did a really good job with it. Now, I know it's back from the musical in 2004, I believe, and the fact that they got the original... Um, Elfie and Galinda as a uh, quick cameo in uh, the Emerald City scene I thought was really cool. Um, I, I gotta be completely honest, like, I loved seeing uh, the Emerald City and all that, and I loved exploring it, but that was probably my least favorite song uh, going into it, and um, this movie does run at 2 hours and 40 minutes, but in my personal opinion, like, it doesn't feel that bad. I think it was actually somewhat doable, uh, I didn't have to get up to use the bathroom at all, so I didn't really miss any, uh, major plot points of the, uh, movie, so, overall, I say this movie warrants it, and I'm really looking forward to Act 2, or Part 2, whatever you want to call it, because, from what I understand, now, I may be wrong, if I am, let me know down in the comments below, uh, Act 2, or Part 2, is just gonna be, uh, The Wizard of Oz told from, uh, Galinda's and, uh, Elfie's uh, perspective. So, uh, honestly, like, I love this movie. The cinematography is beautiful. I think it's wild that, obviously, uh, the director did In the Heights too, but he directed G.I. Joe Retaliation, which I was like, wait, what? Like, the, the guy that directed G.I. Joe Retaliation did Wicked. I'm like, Phew. it's amazing just to show how wide of a, like, just 
a range that he has, and I gotta give it to him, like, he did really good, um, the two lead actresses, I wouldn't be surprised if they get nominated for this, like, they give such powerful performances, especially during the, uh, ending Defying Gravity scene, like, it's just so, so well done, and especially when she's flying around, making all the monkeys chase her, like, it is such a great, great film, um, in all honesty, I'm shocked that I'm gonna say this, because I did not expect to give it this, but 1 out of 10, I would probably give this movie a 9, because I just enjoyed it that much, um, it's one that I'll definitely get when it comes out on, uh, Blu-ray and 4K and all that fun stuff to add within my, uh, collection and all that, but like I said, I've never really shied away from musicals, so always go in with an open mind, sometimes they're better than others, sometimes they're absolutely great, other times they're just kind of rubbish, I guess you could say, but anyway, if you saw Wicked, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below, but anyway, that was my review of Wicked, part one. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As of now, I have uh, no video requests, actually. So if you do have any at all, just let me know as long within my capability of making it. I will be making it. And um, if you saw Wicked, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Uh, sorry, don't know why. I just got winded there. But um, if you saw it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And honestly, like... I get people not liking musicals and all that. I get that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I am curious, somebody that is not a musical fan going into this film, what they thought of it. So if that was you, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. But anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!